Hey FlossTube, Ashley here, Boogie Stitcher on YouTube, Shlees and Miners were Boogie Stitcher on Instagram, coming to you guys with another unboxing. This one is from New Craft Day. I will leave all of their information in the description box down below, along with the coupon code in case you're interested. We have two cross stitch patterns, and one is not a new one for me. I'll explain in a minute, so let's go ahead and dive right in. Um, we have lots of crinkling, so let's go ahead and get started. Sorry for the crinkling. I wish the bags that they sent him in weren't like super loud. <laughs> that would be nice, but I understand because they're trying to save me. Um, okay, first thing, we have this one. It kind of reminds me of Cinderella. Um, like the, I don't know, the daintiness of the face, I guess. But you can see there's like fire and some crows and a moon and stuff in the background. Um, yeah, definitely very pretty. This one is a uh, 40 by 55 and it's on poster paper. It is the one with the instructions on one side, pattern on the other, or a picture on the other. And then here is the pattern. And this one has 44 colors. And let's take a look and see if there's any symbols that we think might collide. And it doesn't look like there's two similar colors, so, or symbols, so that's good. Um, this is the maker of my, um, my Ravenclaw. It's surged, it's not quite as stiff, it's gonna be super nice to work on, which is really nice. Um, Okay, so we have about an inch and a half of margin, completely surged all the way around. Um, again, not quite as stiff for a stamped kit so that there's not quite as much starch, which is really nice. Here's the whole thing. And let's take a look at the stamping. The key is super sharp and it looks like all of the stamping is really good. Yay, I love it when a plan comes together. Uh, so here's the stamping. Super clear, super nice, vibrant. Very good, I could tell the difference. Oops, sorry, bumped you. I could tell the difference between the orange and the pink and everything, so that's good. Um, this comes with a tool kit, gold tip needles, pom-pom, thimble, and a needle threader. And more crinkling for the thread. Looks like we have some three through three is extra. And then, ooh, all the purple and blues. So we have 44 colors. So we have two floss cards. Here's the first one. And here is half of the colors right here. And the other half right here. Super pretty. I love this palette, but you know me. I love my purples and my blues. I'm attracted to all of them. So that is it for the first one. And the second one, okay, uh, crinkling while I open it. So I have this pattern already. Um, I got it and it's a joy Sunday. But I saw this one and it comes with a dark um, sky, which I wanted to do a dark sky, I saw a conversion. Um, I can't remember her channel name, I have to look it up, but I'll insert it up here. Um, she, I don't think she's finished hers yet, although I'm way far behind on floss too, but she did a conversion for the sky um, on this pattern. I'm not showing it yet. Um, and it looks great. I got it and I got the kit from Joy Sunday and it comes with a white sky and I was gonna do conversion as well, but way too much work for my brain. So I saw this one and again, I have this as a Joy Sunday. One, I don't like Joy Sunday. Confuses the heck out of me having a different symbol on the pattern versus the stamping. Too, too much for my brain. Um, and two, the one that I have has a white sky um, and I was gonna do a conversion. This one comes with blue floss for the sky. And part of me wanted to just get this just because I wanted to see if it would come as dark blue fabric or if I would have to stitch it. And I'm pretty sure I have to stitch it, but we'll take a look. So here it is. And I, I love this pattern and it was done beautifully. Um, yeah, I, I can't remember her name, I'm so sorry. Anyway, 
channel name is up here. Anyway, she, she stitched it beautifully. Um, so this is made by the same designer that made Ravenclaw again. I don't know the name of the designer, but I like them. So here is the picture, the instructions, and the pattern. So it does look like we have to stitch the sky, which is fine, because now they'll include the color, and I like the color that they used here, so. And it is on poster paper, nice and shiny. And the stamping is, or the pattern is easy to see on here, and it comes with 44 colors. So it's a 40 by 53, a lot of confetti. But you know, this has, this one is stamped like completely different from, from the other one that I got, so from Joy Sunday. So I'm really curious to see. I didn't make it too far in the other one, so. So here's the whole thing. Yeah, get those feet. Um, the stamping looks really good. Yeah, the stamping is super clear, no fuzziness whatsoever, and the key is also super clear. So let me show you the key. Nice and clean and pretty. And then let me show you some of the confetti areas. So the stamping looks great. And yeah, baby's attempting to get his feet. <laughs> Sorry, lots of grunting. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited about this. Um, so this one, oh yeah, here's, comes with the toolkit, gold tip needles, thimble, um, pom pom, and a needle threader, and crinkling for the floss. So this one comes with a couple of extras. We have an 820, and a 939, no, 823. Sweet, so that means the sky is 823 and not 939. So that's awesome. Uh, uh. So this one comes with 44 colors. So we have two of the floss cards. There's the first one. And the one side of the one. And the colors on the other. Super pretty colors. So I'm curious because the Joy Sunday kit of this castle has back stitching. Joy Sunday has back stitches. Whereas this one does not. So I'm really curious to see how it turns out without any of the back stitching. Um, if I need to, I will do back stitching. We'll just have to see how it turns out. Um, but that is it from New Craft Day. I will be doing a stitch with me and we'll be working or starting the castle. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, if you're leaving right now, then thank you all so much for joining me. I really appreciate every single one of you. And stay tuned for the stitch with me in just a second. All right, Floss 2, we are back. Two seconds for you, longer for me. We are going to work on, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a little sideways T. Um, when I work on uh, stamped kits and 10 stitch, I use a full strand. Um, so this is 24, so I'm gonna pick off a whole strand. And this, the size um, thread that they give you is too long for me for 10 stitch. I prefer to cut them in half, so I will be doing that. As soon as I find my snips, there they are. Do, 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 do. I have my these snips on like a crocheted lanyard um, that I've done. Well, there we go. So that way, I don't lose them. I'll probably do that with all of my snips eventually. <clears throat> we got a new setup today. We're attempting to film with my new stand. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully you all can see somewhat okay. All right, we will be stitching tent stitch on this. Again with six strands for one whole thread. And again, this is the castle. This guy right here. Let's zoom out a second so you can see. 
there we go this is the one I'm doing this is the one that I have um, as a joy Sunday but I'm not a big fan of it and so I bought this one in hopes that it would be a different designer and in hopes it would give me floss for the dark sky and it did and it's a different designer like I wanted so hopefully it looks okay and actually it looks like the castle and everything the Joy Sunday kit has back stitching so I don't know we'll see how this is gonna go I'm not sure hopefully it will look fantastic that's definitely different stitching than the Joy Sunday. Like, not the same symbols, obviously, because it's a different designer, but I mean, it's not like the same pattern. How do I explain this? Um, this section of the pattern in this kit looks different than this section of the pattern of the Joy Sunday. Does that make sense? Hopefully. Anyway, when it comes to stamp kits, um, well, all of my cross stitch really, I have no rules. I stitch wherever I feel like going. I travel as long as I feel like it. I just kinda do whatever I want. No rules for me. to drop my needle. There we go. Luckily it was still attached to the thread. And I think I kind of want to try and... I'm normally a cross-country stitcher. I don't do good if I have to follow, like I said, rules. But I think I want to try and somewhat finish a, a section before moving too far. So I think I am going to park this in the box below and start a different symbol because I just want to I want to see the castle kind of emerge on this one I think so I'm going to park it right here and do another symbol and we're going to do this pink circle, I think, right here, which is number 31. <coughs> which is right here. If you don't plan on using the fold two, like I said, I cut these in half um, to make them shorter. If you don't think you're going to stitch both of them at the same, like one after the other, what I do is I pull a piece up. And then I cut it in half. That way it stays on, the other half stays on the floss card. So then I just pull the one. And then the other one just kind of dangles here and stays. All right, and now we're working on the pink circle. Oh, there's a pink circle right there, though. Just kidding. I'm going to start over here. So that tail is okay for me. There's like a tiny little tail right here. I don't know if you can see it. Um, I will either, um, when I'm stitching the symbol diagonal from it, Put the make sure to put the needle down in there to like lock in that thread or like push it to the back or I have a handy dandy little tool that um, I stick and it's like it pushes it down for me so I don't mind those I either clip them off push them down with the needle or use my special tool
I hope you all are having a good stitching day. And if not, I hope you have a good stitching weekend. It's a long weekend here in the States for us. We have Monday as a holiday. So we'll have a three day weekend, which is super nice. Butterfingers today, I keep dropping the needle. I am loving this kit so far. Um, the Joy Sunday is so stiff and this one is a little bit like thick and starchy feeling but the fabric isn't thick. So I really like it so far. Um, it's stitching smoothly which is really nice. Yeah, so far super pleased with this one. I'm going to do one more symbol here. <laughs> Excuse me, we're going to do 17. Which is this pretty blue right here. So I pull it up, cut it in half, pull half the thread out, and this thread just stays here. It doesn't come out until you pull on it, so. Okay. Well, this is a super pretty color, too. I wonder what all this yellow and blue is in the sky. 820 and 823. Sweet. It's not 939, I'm happy. So much 939 in a lot of patterns. <clears throat> I love the color, but holy cow, sometimes. Too much of a good thing. <laughs> I got some starts for my garden. I gotta get those planted this weekend. I got some cucumbers and some tomatoes. A melon for the first time, or a cantaloupe this year. My first time trying to grow any type of like big fruit. And hot peppers. Mostly tomatoes and cucumbers though, because I make our own tomato sauce when I can, during the season anyway, and then I also pickle our cucumbers to have homemade pickles, which is super nice. Super tasty. I'm kind of a little late to the garden party this year. I just weeded our garden beds. I gotta get it all planted. Better late than never though. All right, everybody, that is it for me. Thank you all so much for joining me. I really appreciate every single one of you. I'm gonna continue this one off camera because I really wanna see how the castle turns out. And I hope you all have a fabulous day and weekend. Stay safe, stay warm, and take care. Bye.